Hello! We're going to be making canvas embroidery art. You'll need a few things for this craft. First, start off with a canvas, paint, and a paintbrush. Later, you'll need a pencil, piece of paper, tape, embroidery floss, a needle, and scissors. So first, you'll need to paint your canvas. I'm using tape to get a cleaner line, but you should paint yours however you like. While the canvas is drying, sketch out your design on a piece of paper about the same size as your canvas. Once your canvas is dry, tape your sketch to it and use a needle to poke holes through the paper and through the canvas. This is to transfer your sketch to the canvas without having to draw directly on it. This can be a lot on your fingers, so take your time and take breaks if you need it. Now we're ready to start embroidering on the canvas. Once you cut a piece of the embroidery floss, you can separate it and use only a couple of strands of thread. The more threads you include, the thicker your outline will be. For this design, I'm only using two strands of floss. Start by poking your needle through one of the holes on the back of the canvas and pull it most of the way through. Make sure to leave a little bit of a tail. Now poke it through the next hole on the front of the canvas. Pull the thread through so that your first stitch lays flat on the front of your canvas. Now turn it around and tie the two strands together so that your stitches won't pop out. Go through the next hole on the back of the canvas and then put it through the same hole you finished your first stitch with. Pull the thread through. On the front side, your two stitches should be right next to each other, touching in the middle. This is called the back stitch. Keep going! It's okay if it looks messy on the back of the canvas since people will only see the front. If you run out of thread, tie off the thread you were working with and pick up where you left off with another piece of embroidery floss. Be sure to tie your first stitch so that it won't come loose. Once you're finished, tie off your thread and trim any long tails on the back of your canvas. This is the back side of my canvas. Like I said, it's okay if it looks messy. Nobody will see that. Now you're done. Hang your piece up and be proud of your work. 